One of the people I play tennis with is a guy named Martin. If you were to look at us side by side, you'd think I'd have the clear advantage. I'm younger by nearly 20 years, I'm taller, I'm stronger, I'm fitter, and I'm faster. But no matter what I do, you will never beat me. I've never won against him. When we get into heated rallies, I'll hit a decent shot, and just as it's going over the net, he'll smile. <laughs> when I see that smile, I know I lost the point. Hey, you were supposed to hit the ball. Nothing I try works. Hey, the court is over here. This is tennis, not baseball. But you know what? I'm tired of losing. Are you done yet? You look done. The only way I can beat Martin is if I get better overall. And I felt the only way to do that was to play more. So I started to challenge random people. This taught me to stay focused because I had no idea what to expect. And I started to play with the same intensity on every point. So after playing countless new people and beating them, I challenged Martin to another match. 6-2, 6-1. The same type of score as always. I was focused and I felt like I was playing well. But I still lost. I just want to win one set. You will never beat me no matter how hard you try. Impossible. Maybe it's true experience does trump age. Yeah, you can't even beat me in your dreams. Forget that, I'm gonna beat Martin. So I started to run more, do push-ups, sit-ups, stretching. I became more competitive in just normal day-to-day -day things. Throughout all this, I could hear his voice. Training to beat me, you mean training to lose against me. I began to watch more tennis on TV. I began to play only tennis video games. I focused on strategy. I honed my skills. I didn't take lessons though. And when I practiced, every time I lost a point, it just made me try harder. And after all of this, I challenged him again. But this time I felt different. Hey Nate, you look confident today. Confident until you start playing, then you just got scared. I started off playing poorly. His statement got in my head. If missing the ball camera at one point, you had one point. I need to focus and believe in myself. Not believe, confidence. I've practiced, I've trained, I know I can win. And I started to play the best tennis I've ever played. I was holding my service games, but so was he. We were all tied up. For all. Deuce. I have to win the next two points. It's time to hit this ball as hard as I can. These rallies are intense. I feel like we're both really fighting for these points. Now it's time to get ahead. That was anticlimactic. It's 4-5. I'm down. If he wins this game, he wins the match. I can't let that happen. I chase down every ball, but Martin has become a backboard. I can get nothing past him. We reach 40 love. He has three chances to finish this set. It's not over until it's over. An opening. Yes. I've got to show him that I'm not afraid to go for shots. Forty thirty. If I win this point, I know I can come back and win this set. But he's not going to make it easy. I need to focus. It's just me, Martin, and the tennis ball. Let's do this. Hey, that was a good set. <sighs> really thought I had him this time. Hey, Nate. You did good today. Same time next Sunday? Yeah. One of the people that I play tennis with is a guy named Martin. And I'll definitely beat him on Sunday. Hopefully. Probably not. But I'll try anyway.